Hi, this is Noma Dimitri. Uh, I'm standing in front of an apple tree which still has its flowers, although they're beginning to fade out and the petals are going away. Um, we know that at some point in the fall, this same apple tree, in the place where you see the flowers right now, is going to have apples. The apples that you're gonna that you're gonna cut and you're gonna be eating for the rest of the year. As you know, you can have apples all of year now but mostly they are grown they're ready around October or September depending on your altitude or November and then they're put into uh, freeze refrigerators units and then they're sold throughout the year to you until the next year's uh, production uh, so what I want to talk about very briefly today is what happens between this moment here the moment of the flower and the moment of the apple where you actually have fruit in the trees so we're going to try to get close to the flowers right now just to take a look so here they are here are the pretty apple flowers you can see them and you're seeing that they're beginning to be spent in fact if i touch them the petals are starting to fall down as you can see the fact that the petals are falling down and the and the and the flowers are spent is actually good news because what it means is that they have been fertilized when you see this is the sexual part of the flower right over here um, with the parts that you may remember from high school they're called the stamens and the thing anyway there's a male and there's a female part and there are the bees that are the pollinators um, the pollen is exchanged it goes here and eventually the flower gets pollinated the moment the flower is pollinated it's no longer necessary it's done its job so eat so the petals fall and it becomes something like this one as you can see which just has the particular the sexual part still available but no more petals now this part is where the apple will be one day I'm gonna go a little further down on the tree to see some of the old the more mature ones and you'll understand what I'm talking about uh, can we see this uh, uh, yes yes over here you see these ones were fertilized a little bit earlier this is this is something that has to do with the preferences of the bees the bees find some of them faster than they find others or some of them are, are sweeter than others um, and they attract the bees first so these ones have been have been pollinated already and they have no petals and they had a little extra time to mature what you see here is what happens here is that you have the back of the flower which you know what it is um, which you've seen before which is already beginning to swell so eventually I will actually cut one off there goes one apple that we're sacrificing in the name of this video <laughs> so I will pull out here and you will see this little thing so here is this one flower this would become an apple this the place that I'm holding is the place that it was held in the tree and this will become the stem of the apple as the thing turns into an apple the weight of the apple of course will pull it down and the stem will be holding it like this and below me right over here there will be an apple um, so this the thing that I'm holding right now is going to be the stem of the apple and most of the apples that you buy in stores unless you grow your own are going to have a little stem uh, popping out of the one end which you're gonna pull off before you cut the apple and you peel it and you eat it um, it's a good idea to peel them right now because they're full of chemicals um, so the other part however the, the part in which you see now the sexual parts of the flower over here this other part this other end this will be if you want the ass of the apple it's going to be the other side you know the other side of the apple where the stem is not where it's all kind of um uh, it, it, it's kind of there's an indent uh, and there's a little other part that's there that looks like a stem was there well that is this particular part uh, uh, where the flower is because these sexual parts will fall off and what will happen is this little bit here that you see between the stem and between the part this part will swell it will swell and swell and swell and this part is the apple um, in fact this tiny tiny part in between um, 
so and the whole point of course of the apple is that it has seeds and the whole point of the seeds is that they will make new apple trees one day if they fall into the right place and in the right conditions and all of that so this is kind of the story how you go from the flowers like these into a fertilized flower like the one I'm holding uh, which eventually starts welling and makes the fruit that is the apple the only reason for the fruit of course is to attract somebody like us who will eat it then shit out um, shit out the seeds uh, leave them somewhere in a different place far away from the apple tree and have a new apple tree grow to where that event happened uh, so that's the only point of the apple itself, of the fruit itself, so important to us, is basically to disseminate, to send its children, its seeds, away from where the mother tree is. Uh, because the furthest away you go, you colonize a new space and you're not crowding out your parents and you get it. It's like, it's like you send your children away to college because you're done with them. Um, so that is the story. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my own apple tree. It's a young one. This is a young apple tree. It has nothing. Uh, it's just a few years since it's been planted. And and it, it don't, when you look at all these thousands of flowers, it's not gonna make that many apples as there are flowers uh, because it doesn't have the strength. The tree is not old enough to be able to bear making that many fruit, that many children. Um, so, as I said, apple trees are a huge pain in the ass to grow because they're attacked by, in the organic garden, if you want to have organic. Um, apples. Uh, apple trees are a huge pain in the ass to do because they're attacked by millions and millions of different things. Um, millions of things fly and land and try to destroy them or eat the flowers, eat the leaves, eat everything, eat the apples themselves, millions of horrible things. Um, and other millions of horrible things climb up on the trunk from the ground to eat uh, to colonize again from the ground. So you have attacks from the air and attacks from the ground. For the attacks from the ground, there's something that you can do that's actually cheap and easy and environmentally very friendly, and it's this. Um, we're seeing here is the tree, and you're seeing this thing. Uh, this thing is some kind of like um, uh, scotch tape. Which, is, which has glue on both sides. So you kind of put it against the tree trunk and as you can see, all the horrible little things, ants and little flies and horrible insects that want to go up, up this way and colonize the, the plant are actually get stuck on this and they die, which is good. Um, so that's what you can do for about the enemies that are coming from underneath. As far as the enemies that come from the air, there's nothing you can do. So if you want to grow organic apples in the organic garden, as I do, uh, you have to kind of go and pick them off by hand, as people always did. And, even, and that will just take care of a small portion of all the enemies of the apple, uh, the ones that you can see, because there are others that you cannot see that are going to just do a lot of harm to your tree and to the leaves and to the fruit. But there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do other than to try to strengthen the tree as much as possible so it can defend itself against these horrible things. Your apples are never going to look like the ones in the store, but the ones in the store mostly are full of things that are horrible for you. Um, anyway. Lots and lots of other things to say about apples, but I'm going to shut up right now. This is plenty uh, for today. Uh, Noma Dimitri in front of the apple tree. Happy farming. <laughs>